Votto is homered and tripled. That one up and in, and Votto lurching out of the way. Yeah, that's high and tight. Sure. Well, Rowan Wicks from British Columbia, Joey's from Ontario, that natural rivalry. Wick the 3 0. And that's ball four. So here's the walk, and then Votto flips the bat. Saying I didn't say anything. Well, and it'll be Schwindel, Wisdom, and Rivas against a new pitcher and a veteran and hard thrower. It's Hunter Strickland and deals. That's laced to center, but Senzel was right there. That from Frank was at 104.9. Look out. And Wisdom gets hit. And Patrick taking an extra second. As an umpire, remember there are multiple factors to consider. This puts the tying run at bat in the ninth. We have no warnings. Yes, there were words exchanged earlier. Vado was the first hit batter of the game, a fight from 2020 that would be in the heads up report, though to be fair, it's the NL Central and it's if teams in that division like fighting with each other anyway. The crew won't get together, so there's no consideration of intentionality. I think it's reasonable given the aforementioned circumstances, namely the tying run coming to the plate, but I still would have preferred to see the crew get together. is going to come out. David Ross has been ejected. Now here's Rivas, and that is in for a strike. I mean, look, I, I understand in terms of the, the frustration, and if Votto's going to put on, you know, that type of show, then it's at least going to be in their heads that if somebody gets dinged immediately after, maybe that was on purpose 
protecting our guy. Yeah, and it was interesting. You know, as I was just kind of taking that all in and just watching it, yeah. watch play, David kept saying, pay attention to the umpire. Right. Pay attention to the game. So I don't know if there was something in between innings, some sort of conversation, something that happened. You know, and let's not kid ourselves. Hunter Strickland is a guy who in the past yeah. has. Well, he had that big one with Bryce Harper. Yeah. I think typically with, you know, what happened the inning before with, you know, Joey, you know, walking towards Wick and, you know, them not doing a whole lot and then uh, them hitting wisdom and two umpires wanting to discuss whether they thought it was intentional or not and nobody doing that. I just was, but didn't understand why. And so I wanted to know, like, why are you guys not talking about that? That's been pretty commonplace, I think, when uh, there's a lot of jawing going on that the umpires get together and, and see if there's anything intentional and they use the air on the side of warnings. You know, this is a team that things get a little tighter late and um, we get a chance to, you know, whether they issue warnings or, or even talk about it, they don't, you know, it just the courtesy of like the respect of players to see if it's on purpose of my players, which I don't know whether it was or not, but them not getting together, two guys wanting to get together and another guy not wanting them to get together was the frustrating part. For me. That's a really interesting point. This is a crew without a chief. What I mean by that is yes, Conroy is the acting crew chief, but one of our followers, ACH underscore Fred, pointed this out nearly a week ago, writing, quote, This ump crew is made up of all threes and fours. This specific crew. Brief overview, four umpires are assigned to a crew. Senior most is the chief. That's Ron Culpel for this crew. Number two is the backup chief, who fills in when the regular chief is absent. That's Marty Foster, but Marty got hurt. He's injured. He can't work. Conroy is the number three. Torres is the four, so Conroy's chief. MLB did this with other crews too. Dan Bellino's a two. Scott Barry is a three, but Barry is the crew chief on that crew while Dan Ison is on vacation because it's Barry's normal crew, even though Bellino is a two and Barry's a three. It's so confusing. There are so many mix-ups in the office right now. A bunch of wacky scheduling and roving assignments going on. What you're left with is this specific crew without a one or a two, which leads to a situation where someone like Ross calls out the crew's leadership because technically speaking, just based on the paperwork, this crew has no full-time chiefs nor any full-time backup chiefs on it. Has nothing to do with the ability of the number threes and fours to call the game. You just don't have any numbers ones and twos. And so Ross or anyone else would think, why don't we have any ones or twos? It's an interesting question for sure.